till 2010 when 18th amendment happened uh, most of the functions were assigned to the federal government but if you look at 2015 and these findings of of Anwar of or uh, of have uh, been given by Mr Anwar Shah that the federal expenditure responsibilities have substantially reduced from the peak of 70% in 2005 to 45% in 2015 whereas the provincial expenditure responsibilities has increased from a low of 29% in 95 to a high of 50% local government expenditure responsibilities have reduced from a peak of 10% to 5% because of change in the local government ordinance because in 2005 2010 after 2001 district local government a uh, local government ordinance a number of functions were assigned to the local governments which have been retracted by the provincial governments in three provinces as dr ishta sub mentioned similarly if you look at the lower uh, three tier uh, three lines you can see the magnitude of fiscal decentralization happening uh the federal used to retain uh, to to collect 90 23 or 94% of the resources which has now been reduced to 84% and the, the the differential is because of the buoyant tax which is called gst on services and punjab and sindh have uh, benefited greatly uh, because of uh, gst on services so that's the level of fiscal decentralization that's happening in pakistan except uh, it is yet to happen at the local uh, government level we moved from 100% gst allocated to the provinces down to 60 uh, uh, 67.5% uh, uh, to the provinces initially when pakistan became, came into being 100% of gst uh, levy and collection was assigned to the provinces because at that time it was considered that it is much more efficient to allocate gst collection to the provinces but as the economy expanded it was transferred to the federal government but it is again a sheer tax so the provincial governments although in theory collects 15% of the taxes but if you add the transfer resource it moves uh, much higher as it uh, seems on the face of it total revenue collection is 15% of the gdp out of that 7% of the gdp is transferred to the provinces and if you add straight transfers into that it comes to around 7.75% of the gdp so the federal government left is is left with less than 8% of the gdp and out of that 8% 4.2% is our debt uh, uh, servicing and 3.5 to 4% is your defense so per force the federation has to borrow for its running the federal government for providing subsidy for uh, uh, development expenditure and that's the level of fiscal or uh, vertical imbalance that is prevalent in Pakistan and that happened after uh, the the 7th NFC award nothing wrong with the 7th NFC award and it's not that we need to revert that but we need to sustain it the issue would be how to expand your total revenues total kitty in Pakistan so that you can have equitable resources at all levels of government to perform the uh, the, the 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 assigned uh, expenditure responsibilities